are we talking uh, about today? We're, we're talking about the new frogs. Yay! The frogs are getting a glow up. I wanted to talk about the different versions of frog and the new um, froggy innovations we've brought to bear. I made the frogs. First I made Tiny Annika, Tiny Simon, oh, Tiny Bunny, and then Big Catalina, maybe Big Mortimer. And then I think after that, I started making frogs to be like all these frogs. Ella was pretty early. Also there was like Vangeline frog, Polly Toad. There were like a lot of <laughs> slightly As different frogs and toads. <laughs> Lewis came later, but he's a cool guy. Glad he's here. Uh, <laughs> this is the frog as uh, it currently stands. It's the same basic frog for Ella and Lewis. There's now like Max Raccoon and Gwendolyn Raccoon now have different hair linings, but the frogs, they don't have ears. They don't have anything special to tell you which character is which. And they're not twins or anything like Emma and Penelope. So, so they've been getting more popular. Be frogs, little. it used to be, I would like bring all these dolls and animals to a craft market if it did well end of the day i guarantee you all i would have is frogs at a certain point people just like there are people who just won't take a frog i'm sorry that you're hearing this and anyway it's different now no. customers are really cool also maybe it's the color thing that's that's a thing the frogs used to be this like more bright sort of uh, acid green then we changed to this more muted soft sagey green i think that was a big improvement sadness to change yeah. but i started thinking of it like went through like an increase in their resolution you could see what once was blurry you could see more clearly you saw that they're a little bit different one from the other we were careful not to make them like crazy different i'm gonna show you the new ones so this is new lewis and he's wearing a bonnet but maybe for drama drama. He has these tan cheek patches. <laughs> oh yeah, so the white tummy has like a bib. His head back is like rounded, old frog, like kind of flat head back. And here is the new one. You can wear much better hats, such as this totally sweet froggy straw hat to stay on better. So there's Lewis. Here is the new Ella. She's a green frog. I'm super into green frogs and how cute they are when we made flowers. The mini frog dolly that came with Florence has these spots on her head. And she has pink cheek patches that are like a little further back on the back of her head. It's really nice for Ella. It's not, oh, you know, village. Rarely will I go overwhelmingly pink, but um, just, a, just a little bit of pink. I, my daughter has now come to the time where she's like, no, my favorite color doesn't change every day. It's pink. <laughs> so I feel some wish to honor that. Ella at this moment is wearing this totally sweet bug dress. No clothes, so I can just show you. Here she is. She doesn't have any special tummy or anything. She has these spots that go onto the back of her head a bit. Did we carefully find the exact, exact color, right? Green floss for her head spots, we did. And she has the same shape of head back. You can wear the hat too. So this, this is a really special dress. What's his name? Misty Morning Sky Dress. Misty Morning Sky Dress. When I sketched it, somebody asked me, what's she even gonna do in this dress? And I said, go in the misty morning dues and appreciate the summer morning. So the production history of this dress is particularly exciting to me. I've been looking for a way to do this kind of lightweight plain weave silk for ages. And we found it in Cambodia. Not only is it the perfect material that I wanted, it is made on farms with like home production silk weaving has been going on forever. And the guy who runs the company who like orders and buys this stuff, he's not doing it for money. He's doing it because he like, I mean, I hope, I hope he can live from it, but he's doing it because he loves handicrafts and he wants it to exist. Silk, it's not cheap, but it's so cool. And this one in particular is made from a botanical dye, natural dye. It's just very cool in every way. And this is beautiful, beautiful, soft lavender. This is important. Here's an example of a hat Ella can wear. It's 
inspired by nasturtiums, which are an edible garden flower with a goofy um. <laughs> This is also uh, silk from the same place, but um, botanically dyed uh, yellow. And with linen, it's like a, a witch's hat, but a, a flower witch. Well, you look great, Ella. I could go on. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of pottery stuff for Lewis. Pottery shop coat and overall actual pottery set. Very important um, pot holder mitts for handling um, things that are hot from the kiln. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. okay, well, guess you're all ready to go to work. Lewis. Yeah, I think this is the best look in the world. <laughs> well, so I'll be signing off. Thanks. Thanks for listening about the um, new glow up of Ella and Lewis Toad. They're launching on Thursday at 1? Yeah. Eastern. 1 Eastern. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, August 10th. 1 p.m. Eastern. I hope that you like them as much as we do.